Hello and welcome to today's session. In this seminar, we will be going over how energy marketers can overcome operational inefficiencies through the use of modern technology. My name is Patrick Halpin and I'm the Director of U.S. Sales and Business Development here at Vertrax. I've been with Vertrax since 2018 and I have 10 years of combined energy industry experience. In today's presentation, we will go over an overview of the operational challenges and industry inefficiencies facing today's energy marketers and the importance of having the right technology to keep your business moving forward, both during normal times and more uncertain times, which we are currently facing today. So let's go over some of the issues facing today's industry, whether that be reduced consumption due to competing energy sources such as natural gas, electricity, uh, more efficient appliances or dual fuel home heating systems, uh, as well as reduction in overall agricultural consumption in many areas that were traditionally agricultural users. And very recently, Marketers have been forced to run their full operations either remotely or with very limited staff contact, which has not been the norm within our industry. Some of the technology inefficiencies that are driving some of the issues that we're seeing out in the industry today. Uh, locally hosted uh, server driven software programs where you either have to be on site or have to have very specific machines to access your data. Um, outdated programs that are not mobile device friendly. So again, even if you are able to access it, pulling out your computer and logging on through a, uh, a specific IP address so that you can access your information makes it much more challenging in today's environment having to work remotely uh, if you're even able to do that at all. As far as the industry goes, uh, we know that there's variable customer usage, whether they're seasonal users or, again, they take appliances on and offline periodically throughout the year. Uh, so, again, making consumption very, very challenging to predict. Uh, on the other side of the operation, either paper ticketing processes that re revolve around handwritten tickets, lots of paperwork, opportunity for, again, poor handwriting, loss of paperwork, manual data entry, and just a general time-consuming process revolved around that, as well as manual routing, whether that's done by office staff or driver staff, makes it much more challenging to manage and measure the, the various KPIs revolved around successfully running your business. So let's talk about inversely, in, in a bubble or in a vacuum, what does an optimal operation look like? That would be, in my mind, a, a tank monitor on every single tank that you fill so that you have visibility at all times in real time of what that actual inventory level is. Sequence and optimize route for every driver, for every truck. So at all times, you know that you're getting the most amount of gallons delivered with the fewest amount of miles driven. With that, optimal drop size. So every customer that you show up to, you're going to get 60, 65, 70% capacity of that tank delivered, minimizing the number of times you have to physically be on site to be there, reducing overall number of deliveries, reducing liability of having trucks and staff out in the field, as well as being at customer locations, and all of that information being pushed back to managers and decision makers in real time to a universally accessible cloud database. Now, what challenges are there preventing that perfect world? First and foremost, the thought or the feeling that the technology is not there per se from an accuracy, reliability, or an affordability perspective. And then there's also the real world application. How does this affect marketers on a day-to-day -day basis? Many fun function in an extremely rural area where it doesn't necessarily make sense to bypass a customer 
simply because they're not ready for an optimal delivery. It's more efficient to do a short fill than it is to, again, revisit that customer when they're actually ready for a delivery. Speaking of short fills, you also have customers. You're kind of at their will and mercy, particularly for will call customers, when they want a delivery, they will tell you it's, you know, yes, I'm at X percentage to get you out there. And even with punitive measures in place for short fills, some folks are willing to sacrifice that in order to ensure that they are taken care of, as well as, you know, heat assistance customers. So in low income areas, you know, you're subject to receiving payment from government assistant programs, um, again, credit checks, these type of things. So all of these play significant factors into how you run your operation on a daily basis. But even knowing all of these factors that make it a challenge, what would it do for your business, for your bottom line, if even on 50 or 65%, all the way up to 85% of your customer base, you were able to achieve not only optimal drop size, but the optimal number of deliveries that would absolutely have an effect on your bottom line. So when addressing these problems, there's you know some very generic and basic questions that need to be addressed. It's who needs fuel, when and where they need it, why do they need it? Are they calling in and saying they need it? Or is it known that they truly do need fuel? And how are you, the marketer, going to get it to them in the most efficient manner possible? So, you know, those are just things to be thinking about when you boil it down to the most basic of questions uh, when addressing operational issues within your own organization. In the next slides, I'm gonna be going over how we at Vertrax have tried to address ways to get answers to these questions for marketers, providing them unparalleled insight into their operation for better decision-making in real time. First and foremost, we have brought to the market a sonar-based tank telemetry and tank monitoring service. This allows marketers to have real-time visibility into actual inventory levels across both their storage facilities and their customer base. As we talked about earlier, the future of the industry will likely revolve heavily around tank monitoring and its ability to be affordable and accurate. But why is that? And the reason that I feel is, is because there's been a generational shift in the way that consumers are digesting and demanding information. They want it to be easily accessible and oftentimes they're willing to pay for that service or that convenience. With our advanced technology, both the complexity and the cost is much, much more manageable, making a meaningful deployment a true reality. So what is the value proposition of our tank monitoring service? Well, with sonar-based tank telemetry, you have the real-time visibility for everyone involved. That's the marketer, the customer, potential uh, upstream players in the supply chain, allowing you to monitor any tank in any place, any age, and any condition. So you're no longer reliant on read-ready gauges, manual floats, uh, you know, again, outdated technology that is prone to failure. With that comes the analytical analysis that you're able to perform across your customer base and across your inventory base to make decisions that are best for your business. And you're able to incorporate all of this data seamlessly into our Smart Drops routing and logistics platform, again, answering the other sides of that that challenge those questions that every marketer faces, the who, what, when, where, why, and how. Some of the competitive advantages that haven't already been covered are specifically two-way communications to the hardware for remote maintenance, upgrades, firmware changes, etc., as well as the ability to hook multiple sensors 
to a single gateway. So in multi-tank locations, this actually drives costs down, which is a benefit to both the end user as well as the marketer. Additionally, all of our devices are environmentally sealed to prevent device failure in extreme conditions, whether that be cold, heat, humidity, uh, water, etc. These being environmentally sealed is crucial to prevent device failure. Uh, so a little bit about our hardware, again, just for identification purposes. On the left-hand side, you see a residential gateway, which is designed for indoor applications and a sensor. So this is up to 2,000 gallon tank and it has an internal antenna. Um, again, very simple, very straightforward and multiple sensors can be hooked to a single gateway. On the right hand side, we have what we would consider our industrial or commercial application uh, from the respect that this is for vertical tanks or tanks 2000 gallons or above. The gateway as well as the sensor are environmentally sealed, um, but again, this, this hardware is interchangeable, so you can use what we call a residential sensor with a bulk or industrial gateway in areas where you don't have access to indoor power. Now, the next step in the process is what do you do with this information? So there's multiple ways to digest and to view this information. First and foremost being a, a browser-based dashboard, which has consolidated account overviews where you can quickly look at the status of each tank and each device. And you can then further drill down on a specific account, seeing individual check-ins of the device, uh, periodic drawdown uh, of consumption, the number of days that they have had since their last fill, as well as forward projections based on current consumption rates of when this customer will need a refill. We also have a mobile application, which is very sleek, very user-friendly, that guides you through the installation process of the device, as well as visibility into each account. So regardless of whether you're on a browser or if you're on the mobile application, you're able in real time to see specific locations and exact precise uh, measurements of what they have in that tank at that time. Throughout the course of our pilot program, we have been able to consolidate information and seen that the average residential pilot fill up was about 41.5% of the tank. So if you annualize that based on two quarters of relatively normal consumption, which in most parts of the country would be Q4 October through December and Q1 January through March, and then additionally two quarters of halved to maybe third consumption, uh, you can safely assume based on that number, if you were able to maximize that delivery percentage from 41 and a half to say 60 or 65% at each drop, you could save one, one and a half upwards of two deliveries per customer per year. Um, so when you extrapolate that information out across a customer base, that turns into real potential for savings. Uh, depending on what number you use for your calculated cost per delivery, uh, I'll allow you to do the math yourself, but based on the size of your customer base and even one delivery per customer per year using your cost per delivery, that, that absolutely has uh, an effect on the bottom line. So I guess the next question is, is if you're able to realize those savings, what do you do with that, that boost to your bottom line? Do you go out and hire an additional salesperson and try and capture more market? Do you take vehicles offline and reduce staff size and just, again, take that direct benefit to your bottom line? Um, you know, there, there's various ways that if you're able to realize that return on investment, uh, what you can do with that and how you can affect your company. 
The next piece of the puzzle is how, once you know who needs a delivery, how do you get it there in the most efficient way possible? And so our program, Smart Drops, which directly interfaces and pulls information from the Vertrax tank monitoring service seamlessly, our goal is to provide the most efficient routes uh, from dispatch to drivers and real-time flow of information back from those drivers to office staff, giving you measurable KPIs such as gallon and liters per mile driven, um, your most efficient pieces of equipment, and just again, unparalleled insight into what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis in your operation. Um, so with Smart Drops, you get many benefits such as the dispatcher's console that shows you, a, a, you know, each individual route, what's been assigned, current progress, the ability to see plan versus actual at the end of a, a day or a shift, um, delivery quantity and route efficiency, scorecards. Um, you can send out of gas emergency orders directly to the drivers, even in the middle of a shift with a pop-up notification. You can revise routes and react to daily demand in real time. And all of this is done through the Amazon AWS cloud hosting, which makes this information accessible to operation staff anywhere that they have an internet connection. Now the driver-based workflow is a mobile application. It's Android-based, so it's accessible from any Android operating system. It automatically calculates invoicing and taxes for that, that customer and that account. Um, even when you're out of cell service, you can remotely access customer account information for drivers. And it's a very unique, intuitive, and user-friendly workflow. All the in-cab equipment is pre-configured and ruggedized using Bluetooth communication between the tablets, the meters, and printers for reliable, easy-to-use driver workflow. And it's, again, it's a tried and true system that prov provides drivers the ability to do their job and saves time on the back end from, you know, traditional data entry. Now, that information as it's flowing back in real time is visible in the monitor deliveries or the dispatcher's console where you can actually see specific products delivered by driver, by truck. You can look at invoices and you can actually see estimated versus actual and all this information you can then run reports on. You can build dashboards to measure KPIs. It's, it's very sleek, it's very seamless. And you know again, this is the type of information that allows operation staff to make real-time decisions with better information. So in conclusion, when you fully utilize technology, it, it allows you to do several things. First off, you can improve your return on investment rather than just spending money and hoping that things are gonna get, to get better. You can actually have a measurable ROI and use that money, time, and manpower how you see fit whether again that's to actively target and grow your business uh, to lower your price and go after additional market share use additional money for a potential acquisition or simply maintain the status quo while reducing operational costs leading to simply being more profitable that that decision is up to you as the marketer and as the management how you want to do it but ultimately by selecting modern sleek cloud-based technology, it provides the tools for you to do that. Technology is becoming more reliable, it's becoming more accurate, and ultimately more affordable, while margins in the industry, whether it be refined fuels, heating oil and lubricants, or propane, the, the margins are shrinking and competition is growing because there's other energy sources taking some of the customer base. So what better time than now to make an investment in your business, positioning yourself to be relevant into the future 
and to be at the forefront rather than lagging behind in the industry. If you have any questions about any of our products or simply just want to have a conversation regarding some of the insight that we've provided today, feel free to reach out to me directly at my contact information found here. Or thank you again for taking time to, to have viewed this presentation. Very, very excited uh, for the future of the industry and the ability to have spoken with you today. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.